screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a new clutch piece. Before starting any repair on Bob, turn his side power switch off and remove his dust bin. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface and remove his main brush using the flathead screwdriver. Keep all removed screws and parts safely aside as they may be needed for later reassembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the six screws on Bob's underside that hold him together. One screw on each side of the front wheel, one screw to the right of the main brush motor, one screw on each side of the dustbin, the final screw is in the brush compartment. Bob's cover is no longer secured, so hold the top and bottom together as you carefully flip him back onto his wheels. Grip Bob's cover from the back and lift up to expose the mainboard. Slide the power inlet down and tuck it somewhere safe to avoid compressing its wires. To detach Bob's cover completely, disconnect four circuit plugs. Two at the lower edge of the mainboard, near the wheels, and two more at the top edge near the bumper. The main brush clutch, where the pin sits, is found beside the power switch. Use one hand to push the clutch up from underneath Bob. Then uninstall the screw and remove its cushion. Keep both aside for later reassembly. Lift Bob and two pieces will fall out, the clutch and the spring on top of it. Place your new parts underneath Bob. Make sure the semicircular gap faces the main brush motor, not the outside of Bob. Hold the spring on top of the clutch piece while putting them back in their space. Push the clutch piece up from underneath Bob so you see the screw post protruding through his interior. Hold the clutch there as you replace the small cushion and reinstall the screw. When finished, you're ready to close the cover. Reattach all four circuit plugs connecting Bob's cover to the mainboard. Two connect to the top edge of the mainboard, and two more connect to the bottom edge. Remember to slide the power inlet back into its space on Bob's cover. Align the cover's edges precisely. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface. Reinstall all six screws previously removed from Bob's underside. Ensure that no wires are compressed in the main brush compartment or visible at the edges of the bumper. If so, take a step back and lift the cover to tuck the wires into the appropriate spaces. Install the main brush and dust.